Hey everyone, it's Kiwi here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today is a little bit of a special soap and somebody is getting a bar of this one. And I do have to apologize, boo, that it took me so long to make this soap for you. Um, it, I had to gather up all of the materials. Now, Boo, who runs Moo Boo Melts and More, she's a lovely young lady who runs her own business and juggles school as well. And she makes some amazing products. If you're here in Australia wanting bath bombs, go and check it out. She does some amazing bath bombs as well as lots of other products. But she sent me a picture of a soap last year in 2020 and asked if I could make it. Now, I'm not talking late 2020. I'm talking quite early 2020 when she sent me this design. And I really, really liked the design, but there were a couple of things um, about it. She wanted some stars in this soap. And at the time, I didn't have any star extruders. And it was kind of one of those things that really sparked my pestering to Lee over at Wicked Lee Goods if she could make some star extruder discs because I really wanted to make this soap for Boo. And um, that kind of then developed into this whole thing where Lee now makes extruder discs and her own extruders. And um, she did the stars and I knew then I could do um, this soap for Boo. But the problem was she actually wants, you'll see in the design, some straight vertical lines in the soap. And I was contemplating how to do this to get the nice straight lines. And one of the ways was to pour a solid soap of one color, cut it up and then insert it into the soap. Or I could get some dividers and um, do a divider pour into the mold. Now this was before I actually had my Nurture Soap Moulds <laughs> and in the process I got the Nurture Soap Moulds and I was trying to work out the best way of kind of doing this design and then all of a sudden I got the email from Nurture Soap to say that the dividers were back in stock so I quickly ordered those and I've been waiting for all the bits and pieces to come together and I was determined to get this done for Boo's birthday and I have sent her a bar for her birthday present and a big happy birthday boo let's go and see how I did your soap design let's go all right so I think I have got absolutely everything prepared now there's been a lot of calculations splitting of oils um, trying to work out how much I need to pour into each of my jugs and that sort of thing but I think we've got it all calculated and only time will tell. So I've just poured my lye water solution into my oils. Just gonna give it a quick mix. And then I'm going to split this off screen so I've got two equal buckets of soap. Okay, so I've got my two jugs of soap here. So we're gonna do the bottom layer first. And Boo has said that she wants the bottom layer to be with white and red stripes. And she wants the white to have some blizzard mica through it as well, so it's nice and shiny. So we've just put some titanium dioxide in there, which has already been dispersed with water. We've got our blizzard mica. And into this one, I am oh, going to use some really red from Nurture Soap. I'm going to mix these two in and then I'm gonna pour the fragrance in and then again off screen, I'm gonna split them into more jugs.
colors are split up now in Boo's original photo it was to do um, five um, five different colors so three three red and two white I think it was um, but I couldn't get a divider that had that many so we're gonna do four so what I've done is we're gonna go red white red white and I am going to start down here I'm gonna hold on to my bars here and I'm gonna pour probably about I don't know three quarters of the way and then I'll pour in the next color which will be red all right so now I'm gonna to come to the red and I've split them up into the jug so I can make sure that my um, layers are going to be nice and even so hopefully we don't mess this up too much looks like I don't actually have to hold down on the dividers which is fantastic I see so many people have trouble with the dividers when they do this I got these dividers in from off of nurture soap and they are designed for this particular mold and I must say I absolutely love them they are making this so much easier there were all sorts of different things going through my head about how I was going to do this pour or how to make the dividers but I think this has been well worth getting this in and the bonus was I actually used the um, the point system that they do oh we just dropped a bit of white I used the point system to get these ones in so technically they didn't cost me anything which is an even bigger bonus so I'm going to finish pouring these colors in here and then we will remove the dividers once I've got them all in So here comes the really messy bit and this is the bit where I know I'm going to end up with a bit of wastage so I did account for that by making up some extra soap what I will do is just grab myself an extra mold just to throw this um, bit in here I'm gonna start with maybe this one first so I'm just gonna pull this one up who it's nice and slippy and just pull it up gently knock a bit of that soap in fact now I'm not going to try doing that because I'll probably end up wrecking it we'll just save that soap I'm going to pull up this one as well Ooh, that one dropped a bit and we'll do this one I think that white set up more than the red and then we're gonna pull out the ends I'm going to give this a gentle knockdown. Just trying to get that white to settle down. I'm going to get this out the way and then we'll come back and do the next bit. All right, so now that I've cleaned up that huge mess that I made, we're going to do the next layer. And it is, she's got down that it's blue with some stars. Now I am taking a bit of liberty there and I have decided that I actually want to do white stars instead of blue, just so that they stand out. So I've popped in some Catalina blue and I'm putting in a little bit of blueberry blue as well, just to um, bring it down a little bit more. That blueberry blue never really goes a very nice blue, so I don't want to use it by itself, but it should make this really really pretty and I'm pretty happy with that one so let's get our lye in there we'll mix it pop in our fragrance and then we will pour it onto the top of that layer So 
has gone a bit more of a turquoisey colour, um, not quite the blue that Boo had down. That is because of the fragrance oil. If you notice that my white went very yellow once that fragrance oil hit. So I'm going to say that that fragrance oil has mixed with the blue and made it go a bit more green. So I've just put in a little bit of navy blue just to dry and bring that sort of blue back into it it's still going to have that greenish tinge and hopefully once it saponifies and does its thing maybe the color will come back sometimes those fragrance oils that make the batter go yellow do actually come back in color but that is a much nicer blue tone still got that very sort of aquamarine coloring to it but there's not too much it can do all right let's start pouring this in here it should sit nicely on the top but just in case we'll use the spatula gonna get so far down Woo. and then we're going to grab our stars that's remain nice and fluid and i'm going to be quite strategic with how i place my stars so we're going to have oh a nice big one in the middle we're a little bit short on them today I'm going to have a smaller one on each side and then another big one down here. I am very short on these. Oh, I think I've mismeasured my, um, I've got a whole bar missing. Oops. It's all right. We've got stars I can add in. It's all good. Let's pop another big one over on this end we'll have another small one in here see i knew i made an extra one up for some reason so what we'll do is measure how big i need them that is about right and that squish them in there Get the rest of this one poured over the top. Alright, so there is that bit now done. But we're not finished because Boo wants me to do something that I very rarely do with my soaps. And she wants me to pipe a top. So I'm going to get some of this mess cleaned up. And then we're going to get on to doing the piping. Okay, so let's do this. I am going to start by putting some titanium dioxide in there. I'm going to put in a really good amount because as you saw, that fragrance oil is going to discolour this one. And then... I'll grab my spoon here going to add in a good amount of the blizzard mica so we get a nice shine and we may as well add the fragrance oil in now as well so let's pop that in we'll mix all that in pour in our lye and then i'm going to let this one set up and um, we'll make some piping <laughs> all right let's see how impatient i'm actually being um let's have a look I just don't want to miss the mark for piping that's coming up a beautiful blue now that that's setting up so I'm just going to do a very very basic three across hopefully and build it up like that calculated how much oil I needed to do the piping it's been a while since I've done that sort of thing what she has got on her drawing is that she wants some red streaks going on here so I have just mixed up a little bit of really red mica with some olive oil and I'm just gonna try my hardest just to dribble a little bit I don't want too much in fact I don't think this is really making streaks but I was going to try and put it through the piping but that piping has taken so long to set up 
and I'm hungry it's well past lunchtime now what I'm going to do just to really finish off the top and bring that sort of red into it I have got some of that color shifting shimmer red that was sent to me and I'm just dusting that over the top and that should give that white a really nice sparkle and then to finish it off we have the little red balls to go on the top she said a red ball or a star and I went for red balls and I do have a little confession in here to make um, this one is different to the rest of these these are all made with cold processed soap but I have been meaning to make this soap for so long that I originally made these ball embeds before I had my nurture soap molds so I only made 17 of them and because we're popping this one into the nurture soap mold I decided I had better make an extra one so I just grabbed a little bit of red soap dough and rolled up the extra ball to go on the top so I'm just going to put one of these onto each and every bar okay so there is our circus top soap all done up i'm gonna leave it sit here overnight and then we will be back very shortly to cut it open i'm also going to go and work out what i need to do with all of that leftover soap all right we are ready to cut into big top i am absolutely loving how this one has coming out can't wait to see what it's like on the inside it smells really good i can see why boo does like this fragrance it's quite he's got that sweet sort of smell but it's also quite fresh from the cucumber as well really 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 like it um i'm just making sure we are lined up hopefully we won't cut too many of the red balls hopefully i did a good good enough job of lining all of those ones up it is raining today you can probably hear that on the roof um i think i am too tall oh no i'm not too tall i've just hit a hard part so yeah it's it's raining today it is a very miserable weekend but that is all good it's actually worked to our favor we've been getting the house painted and they were able to squeeze us in because they're actually commercial painters they paint the outsides of buildings and because it has been raining um, they've not been able to do that and they came and painted our house for us so I'm really really pleased and thunk Ida is through and I think I missed every oh no there's a couple that have had a little bit of a shave on the balls but most of them are pretty good let's grab this one out the middle oh and look at that <laughs> my lines are a little bit winky wonky but maybe there's a breeze blowing over that circus tent i really like how that has come up there boo i hope you like this one too can you see around those stars how it's created an extra little line outline that's about half a mil away from the stars be interesting to see if they actually do stay um, in the soap pattern or not these bars are all going to be the same as I go through them I'm pretty happy considering that is my first time using these um, this divider in the split mold really really happy with how that has come up and I'm sure if I use those molds again I will slowly get better at getting some nice straight lines in there I can see my little stars moved as well but I am still really really happy with it um, it was a great design that you sent through and you can definitely see the blizzard mica sparkling in there too if you do want to see if these little stars keep their little glow rings be sure to come and follow me over on the Instagram page and I will post pictures of these ones when they are ready um, they'll probably be after Boo gets her piece of soap so. and just before I head off this is what I did with the leftover piping and I know exactly what I did wrong to end up with so much leftover piping um, whenever I or when I learned how to do piping originally one of the rules I went by was 
using a third of the oils to do your piping is what's in the base. So if you've got a one kilo soap, I would use um, 333 grams of oil to make a piping mix. I'd probably round it up to 350. And that does depend upon the type of tip that you use. When I calculated this, because it had been so long since I'd done any piping, I actually used two thirds instead of one third. So I ended up with way too much. But what I did is I split that white into two separate parts. I colored half of it with a little bit of orange pop micro. It got this beautiful cantaloupe sort of color. I piped the rest of the white on the top and then I used some hearts which I created using um, Wicked Leeds sprinkle sheets on the, the top there and dusted it with some glitter. These are going to be perfect for any um, kids that come into the stall. So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made the big top circus um, so if you did why not leave me a thumbs up any comments down below and until the next video i hope you have a great one and i will see you then bye